Dan! No! Dan! What? I dropped what? him! I dropped oh, him to his feet! Him? Like completely! Yes, like completely! He's laying on the floor! Oh my that god! That man on the ground! Yes, oh sir. my god! Ayo, it's Alert Gaming coming at y'all with another NBA 2K20 video. We back, baby. If you did not know, the rush event was just a couple. It was legit yesterday, and I had the most fun. I, I, I swear, this event is probably one of my favorite events because the one versus one events, that's been my place. I've already won the event, but I went there for VC and double rep. If you don't know this double rep, I got double rep from the wheel, I had times 4 rep and I went crazy. As you saw at the beginning of the clip, we was getting crazy contact dunks, we was dropping off everyone. We had guards, centers, everybody was getting dropped off. Before we even get started with that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to turn that noti bell so you do not miss a single video when I drop it. Off the bat, I must say, before you even go to the one versus one event, before you even think about it, make sure to change your badge setup. Do not have Lob City finisher, Lob City passes. Put your badges on the one versus one. Like you want to put your badges to suit the one versus one aspect. Do not put your badges where you're having and badges that do not work and help you. So that means do not put Lob City Finisher, Lob City Passers, all these badges. You can put back down Punisher. This, that's a really good badge. In the first few gameplays, you're going to notice I do not have back down Punisher. Once I had it, I was moving people so easily and the gameplay became extremely easy. As you can see already, this guy already has two fouls and he needs three more and he's out of here. Eat. So you got to remember, you got five fouls and you're able to grade out. So do not play horrible defense do not play horrible defense or 2 kids gonna punish you for that i've seen a lot of people just playing horrible defense hoping that 2 kids somehow go i'm a mess somehow i'm gonna miss my dunk i'm telling you if you play some good defense it gives you that her shotgun test is gonna keep you in the game me myself i even have troubles with that especially when i was going against them fast point guards i must say if you're gonna bring a point guard you can bring whatever build you want to the one versus one rush event but i highly recommend if you're bringing a point guard bring a point guard who can who can ball handle and play defense because you got to be able to take the ball out of these big men. look at this guy he's got the defense and the offense but he's playing bad defense he's playing way too high up on me as if I can start shooting threes so that's the thing he thinks I can shoot threes right there I get my own board and that's a slam dunk off the bat we notice that we just need either a rebound or anything just to get our takeover once we get our takeover that's GG but as you can see the post hook I got that post hook game on lock baby he 34 post hook locked that's what I'm saying I love that I don't even have deep hooks but I keep getting that pump animation. I hate that bump animation. I hate it. I hate it. It's like, how does my player just forget how to dribble 2K? I want to know. How does my player, who's a basketball player, just get bumped and forget how to dribble? Right now, honestly, we need six points. We need six points to finish off the game. He's playing some decent defense. He gets the stop right there. This is the stop that he's been looking. I'm looking. I'm like, I'm playing high defense on him. This is the way he should have been playing defense on me. We got him in the clamps. I'm not letting him even get an inch to shoot. I don't trust that. I don't care if you how low your three is. I'm going to play that high defense. Look how far the ball bounced. That I kept having that problem. Look at this camera angle. <laughs> Tuka, can you switch the camera? Camera angle, please. Long camera angle. But like I was saying, I, I was so weird. I would get a rebounded by point guards because the fact that they're faster than me. Some point guards, they knew that, so they would just shoot, miss, and go get their own board. I'm like 2K because me, if I'm shot and I'm putting my hand up trying to get a shot contest, most of the time these point guards are gonna be faster than me and they're just gonna go around me. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like this event did not have its problems. One thing I can give a round of applause for 2K is I did not lag out of this event. I did not have that much problems with this event with lag or anything. The only problems I had is just like, oh my goodness, sometimes this, this guy is where they just get bailed out by 2K, but it is what it is. I know this guy is mad because he a host. That's his whole thing. He's, he's a defender. He's a defender. And
And if you get beat by someone like me to the rack like that as a defender, I know that hits him. So right now he's playing low. I see him. He's playing low. And the plan, I was trying to go for the contact dunk like that. Oh my god. Why is he a defender then? If you're going to be a defender, don't just stand in the paint. That's not going to help you. That's not going to help you at all. Looking at this right now, I'm telling him, yo, being a defender is not the way for you. Because we're about to finish this game right here. I'm looking at like two seconds on the clock. I've just shoot. I just shot it right there. He gets his ball right here. We got him on the shot contest. We got him on the shot contest. This man, I don't know what he's trying to do. We, look at that air ball. That's a beautiful air ball. I noticed that. I don't think he noticed the, the fact that it was an air ball himself, though. I don't think he noticed that. We put him on the work, and we finished that easy. Easy. It's, I wouldn't say easy, man. That was a contested layup. But we finished off that, and we move on to the second game. Moving on to the second game, it was interesting because the fact that this man was a big man. He might have been a low overall, but this man was a whole big man at the end of the day and he gets to start off with the ball i want to say shout out to all the big mans out there who do not use that l2 cheese you know what i'm talking about the thing is just dead he's a 77 but he knows how to use the l2 cheese looking at this guy right there how does he finish that 2 get i want to know how did this man finish that that's pretty much a 50 percent contested layup and he finished that we got the shot that we get the stop right there i thought he was gonna make that i'm not gonna say he in cap out of all the shots that he should have made that should have been the layup but we got the stop right here and defensive badge that y'all should try is that rim protector rim protector i've been messing with rim protector a lot especially on server we can contact them this game you're gonna be seeing a lot of contact on because he's a low overall his block is really low so i am gonna be taking it to the rack you're gonna be seeing me just bullying this man honestly that's what it's gonna be we're gonna i'm trying to force this man to to quit that's what i do i either go in the game i'm gonna either get you to fire out or grade out and i'm gonna go against the ai that's the worst honestly because you just wasted all your time just play me for nothing <laughs> for nothing you don't get nothing that's the worst so that's why when you see it going against me i'm gonna be finessing this man i'm gonna be finessing this man and i'm gonna try and make this gameplay as quickly as possible because i don't want to keep y'all waiting here as too long if y'all are still watching this far, make sure to drop a like though. I want to see who's still watching this far. Look at this man though. Look at the plays. Look at the plays. My God. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. The lays, the plays. I do want to say that I've been sleeping on back down Punisher. If you're a big man and you... You are planning, if you do have a decent amount of strength, because my player has a 98 strength right now at the moment. He has a 98 strength, but if you ever see me getting that much space, you know what's coming next. That's our body. I dunked on him so hard that he just quit. Oh my gosh, someone get this man some milk. He needs some milk. Right now it's an AI, and we just got him. I don't, I don't be seeing AI's jump, but I finesse that AI. Most of the time, I, you don't be seeing AI's jump. These men play some of the most demigod defense. Like, look at right there, man. Guy playing demigod defense, we ended up finishing that game. I just did not want to show y'all me going against a... Uh, Against the EI, they ain't no fun in that right there. We got another rebounding wing. Another rebounding wing for the third game right there. You might just be confused though. Because the way that I got the gameplays lined up, they were different gameplays. They were different because I want the event multiple different times. I wish you could win all the rewards though, but 2K makes it if you have won the event you can now win it again so in the same day i think i won it like three or four times in the same day it was really easy my homies were telling me how in the world are you just dropping on people with such ease though i tell them like the thing i was i did not at the start i was having problems just getting my game correct learning to do what to do but the acrobatic that had me shook because i thought it was just kind of come off that he's playing good defense right here I see him just chilling in the paint. Look at this man. Hostage cheese. Hostage cheese. That's what we gonna have to hit him with. And just like that, we have our takeover. That hot step. You don't see me doing hot steps. When I do them, you know. You know. Ooh, 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 ooh. My goodness. 
Reverse? Reverse dunks? My god, wildin today. That, that's one thing I noticed. As my player is overall start going up higher, my player start wildin. My standing dunk is a 97. It's, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Because there's nothing he's going to be able to do. Yeah, there's nothing he's going to be able to do unless 2K bails you out for that standing contact dunk. Easy, easy money right there. He's playing some weird defense, but I'm pushing him off of me. I don't get what he's trying to do. Why do you play on the side of a slasher? Never play the side of a slasher. Like, if you're going to stand on one side, I'm going to just move you out the way. Like, right there. He's trying to get the charge. Shout out. Yo, I had this one gameplay where, like, this guy knew how to get the charge properly. I could barely drive in the paint because this guy was stand in the paint. And every time I tried to go around him, I just get a, I just get the charge. Well, for game three, it was a quick game though. We did not even let him get a chance, and we just gonna finish that with 22 and oh, he had locked now, like I told you. But it don't matter. It don't matter. We gonna move on to the last game of the day. This is gonna be qu this gonna be quick though. It's gonna be quick. He's a point guard. He's a point guard, but we gonna finesse this man real quick. And just like that, he sold the game for himself. The, all the gameplay you've seen is from yesterday's stream. So if you want to pull up, make sure to always have the noti bell turned on so you know when I stream or drop a video so you're able to come and hang out. Because I helped a lot of bunch of people win the event. I helped so many other people. Because I would run into some people, they'll be telling me they're on their last game. And if I could help them win, I would be like, you already won the event and I'll just give them the dub. That's how it would go. I ended up just going around. I'd love doing that. I love doing that. I love helping people. I love helping people when I can. You know, if I got the time, I'm going to help y'all to be better at the game. Because the game, it ain't no fun if everybody can win. You know, that's how I view it. If I can help y'all be better, then the gameplay would look a lot better. Looking at this, y'all, there was nothing. There was literally nothing he could do. That was good defense. That was just good defense. But I'm way too tall and too strong for him though. He's playing. I'm just gonna get that simple contact on because the this man, he's he's a baby. He's a baby. You know, we gotta carry him on the basket. But like I was saying, I love this one versus one rush event more than the than the one court that they brought, the new one versus one court that they brought, like very recent, the one that they had the park. I like this because it's a whole build. And you got so much room to work with. You have literally so much room to move around. That's why I like it. As a as a big man, I need my room. I need my room, my room to be able to get my contact on cause me, I need momentum. That's one thing that if you wanna cut me off to being able to dunk, it's just being able to cut off my momentum. If you can cut off my momentum, I can't dunk. It's simple as that. Unless I get inside and do a standing dunk. So that's shout out to 2K for getting this event right. And I had a lot of people, like, they did not. All my homies who played the event, I did not have people telling me that they're lagging, having problems, getting kicked out. Because I'm telling you, I played this event before and I would have problems. I would have problems with the event. Sometimes I would just lag out while I'm playing defense or offense. But like I'm saying, he is playing good D. But at the end of the day, he is just too small, too undersized. And we just finish him off that easily. And we finish off. We finish off the series. Like, honestly though, that's the thing. Like I said, do not bring an undersized point guard who cannot play defense. If you cannot play Defense do not bring that point guard at all. If you have a defensive point guard who is able to shoot lights out. If you're able to shoot lights out and you if you don't let me see that side of the ball, then it's GG. Because as a big man, if I don't get that ball, there's nothing I can do. And just like that, that's how you win the rush event in less than 15 minutes honestly i had a lot of fun we dominated that was hella dominant we got some mad contact dunks i hope y'all enjoyed this if y'all did don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe as you can see the less the rewards you get 5k vc and of course the skill boost and what we came for the custom arm sleeves i know that's all y'all want the custom arm sleeves are pretty clean honestly and that's how you win it that was pretty easy that was pretty easy i hope y'all have a beautiful day and i'll see you in tomorrow's video i'm out